Welcome, welcome, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of March the 29th to April the 4th, 2021. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Why not subscribe? It's free. If you like what I do and what you see out here, please be sure to give the thumbs up and click that bell on the, the ringing option. And then you'll get notified immediately when any of my videos are out there for you to view. If you want a private reading with me, all that information is posted below in the information box, my prices, my website, and how to get a hold of me via my email. Let's see what we have, my beautiful Virgos, for your reading for this week. Your all over energy starts off on a great foot. Opportunity knocks, go for it. So you're being given a message here that you're going to be seeing possibilities and offers coming in. Maybe some of you have applied for a job or you put out a resume or a proposal or an idea. Maybe you're waiting for a settlement. Maybe you're waiting for something from court. Maybe you're waiting for a check to come in. Opportunities starting to knock. So. This is new opportunities coming your way, brilliant new ideas, and it also could be new educational possibilities, new friends, expanding your potential and opening yourself to greater possibilities. You're a great team player, my beautiful Virgos, and you've gained respect from your work and colleagues and peers, so step into that power. You have a good reason to feel proud of your achievements and attitudes towards yourself and others, so embrace any new endeavors. Uh, that are creative, that come in with that kind of energy and go for it. Go for it. Stretch your wings and fly. Dazzle yourself. It's your time to shine, okay? Beautiful, beautiful card of positive energy to start off your reading this week with. Your first, your first energy card you've got is Beyond the Ordinary. And this is uh, stepping out again, stepping out into something new, realizing that we can't always recognize things that aren't known in, the, in advance, okay? So don't be afraid of that. Just be aware that everything is as it should be and it will make sense at the end of the day. So don't go worrying, don't go stressing that, you know, and assuming and making assumptions about things before you, they even happen or, or, or cause any unnecessary worry. Just know that you're at the right place at the right time. And I think these opportunities are gonna be amazing that do present themselves. Your next energy card is beautiful. You've got the peace card, and this is all about stepping back and, and feeling freedom from anything. It, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, you're going to have a quiet mind, a heart filled with love and freedom from want and the soul satisfaction. That's what peace is about, okay? Peace tells us that, okay? You know, it's one of those times when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity right now, too. Also, when it comes to relationships, when two people are in true alignment with one another, then you have that innate harmony between yourselves. You're going to feel peace. So you could be feeling peace of a, in a relationship. This could be peace, you know, uh, peace coming into you uh, via your, your job and your career. But this is a time when you just have to realize that things are where they are meant to be as they start to flow into, <clears throat> into place. You've got the, the mountains, and the mountains is, you know, I look at it and say, don't build a mountain out of, don't build a mountain or a molehill out of a mountain or vice versa. Um, but there's two ways of getting through any challenges. You can go around the mountain and the huge epic, you know, obstacle, or you can go over it. Uh, you know, you might be dealing with things that you think are impossible, but they're not. Because at the bottom of this, let's see if you can see this, at the bottom of this, there is a deer. And the deer is figuring out its easiest way to traverse this mountain, okay? You know, you have two choices here. You're going to take the hard route or the easy route, okay? Whatever makes it best for you, whatever obstacles that start to present themselves this week, you have two options. Do you go over it or do you go around it, okay? So think about that. For some of you, it might be one or the other. But <clears throat> I certainly think that you know, slow and steady will get you where you want to go without having to add any more stress, any more burden to your load, okay? So climbing it would be far more difficult in my books. Now, you're all, uh, your, your crowning energy is the fool, and this is all about taking a leap of faith, stepping up and realizing 
that the universe is karmically sending you a message that you're ready. You're ready to go on to that next phase, that next stage, you know, whatever it is. If you've been wanting to open your own business, if you've been wanting to uh, go in and have a closed door conversation with your employer about your rights or something, if you're wanting to write that book or write that song or get involved in something that's very, uh, you know, very creative, maybe you want to, maybe this is a new, uh, a new friendship or a, a taking that leap of faith to trust a new relationship with somebody. Don't be afraid. This says you've got the resources and the timing is perfect for you to move forward to whatever that goal is that you've been and passion that you've been wanting to do in the past. You've got judgment and a judgment call has been made. <clears throat> and I love this card because it's like rebirth. You get a second chance. Something's come down. You, you either, you made a judgment call, you, you assess the situation and uh, you made a clear, uh, a clear and concise decision to move forward. And now you've got this second chance. <clears throat> so don't be afraid. Take that leap of faith and go towards it. This is like rebirth. This is like the universe looking down and shining down on you and saying, hey, go for it. You've got this beautiful new beginning. And you looking up and saying, yeah, thank you. You are moving on. You're leaving and you're walking away from something here. You have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups talks about that. Realizing that there's something more fulfilling for you. You want something more uh, you know, as I said, something that's going to benefit you more for your greater good. It, you could be walking away from anything. It could be your career, a job. It could be, a, you know, a, a, you know, maybe a past friendship. Maybe you're moving. Maybe it's a phase and a stage that you've decided to change up uh, and moving forward here. I think that some of you are reevaluating, okay? And this is movement from one phase to another now. Keep going in that movement. But it is also the card of balance, okay? Maintain yourself, stay level-headed, use your, you know, you use your reasoning here uh, and you, you're going to come out of this, okay, because you know there's a better future. Whatever you're walking away from, my friends, you're going in the right direction. You've got the beautiful card, the star. Yes, you are the star. You're the star in your own stage. You're illuminating your path yourself. You're able to go out there, express yourself creatively, and also promote yourself, what you have to offer offer to a situation or a phase in your life right now, okay? You are going to get recognition. You're going to be able to be see light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be able to take a breath of fresh air, a breath of relief, and you are showcasing yourself. You're able now to move forward in a positive direction, and you're doing that. I see that you, you, you know, you're, you're, you've been given rebirth. You're going in a new direction here. Take, this is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles in, in you know, in your center position here, above your crowning uh, energy is the slowest moving night. You've heard me say this before. And this is about making concise and detailed plans. Not rushing in, not charging in, uh, you know, not reacting and then regretting uh, and taking your time, okay? This is about taking your time and planning your move, your next stage, where you're going on your journey here. And therein, you will get to your destination successfully because you're, you're going to be careful. You're listening to your voice of reason now. The tower comes in, something suddenly may or, or may have already happened that rocked your world, that made you realize, uh-uh, not going to happen again. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to restart. I'm getting a new chance here. I'm going in a new direction, and, you're, and I'm going to make all the right decisions for myself here, and I'm going to show that I'll never let this happen again. So something might have been on a rocky ground, might have been on unsteady, might have had an unsteady foundation, and it, you know, and you don't build a house on sand, my friends, right? So it could have been anything. It could have been your job, your career, a phase, a situation, an event, a, a relationship, anything, but you're doing the right thing. You are rebuilding a stronger, firmer, better foundation so it won't happen again to you. Whether you had control of it or not, uh, this is you saying, uh-uh, not again. I am going in my direction. I am going to build a new life, a new foundation for myself. Look at you, God, coming in towards you, the beautiful king of pentacles. He is the Midas touch king. He puts his hands to anything and he turns it to gold. So you could be dealing with large corporations, financial corporations as well, big money institutions. But, uh, you know, maybe some of you are asking for a loan or maybe some of you are paying off longstanding debt. But... This is a card that says you're going to you're going to be secure financially. Okay. This is also the card that says accept any new opportunities, and there's your opportunity card coming into you at this time. Do it confidently because you can't make a mistake. 
piece of Midas touch, right? It's going to work out. Beautiful message, the Hierophant, uh, the message from the divine uh, or the blessing from the divine. I think you're climbing your, your, I think some of you could be tapping into your spirituality uh, in whatever form and whatever uh, source that you lean into. Uh, for some of you, you could be joining organizations or groups uh, of like-minded people. Uh, you could be stepping back and doing things, uh, you know, in a different way, reassessing what you wanted to do, not so structured. Uh, you're opening yourself up to uh, enlightenment and something new, and you will be able to send. I see you're ascending a staircase of success coming in uh, towards you. So you could be making and meeting new people, bringing new friends into your circle as well. This is the unity card, and that's what it's, it's about as well. Beautiful way to end this reading. Ah, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Not only did you get the star, the Midas touch, you know, you got opportunity, you got peace coming into you, and you've got the King of Pentacles. I mean, this is about significant abundance, okay? And it, re and it could involve getting a promotion, a salary increase, or unexpected money that comes in. And, you're, and some of you could be starting a new business venture and know that it's going to probably, likely, succeed for you. Okay, it's all good. It's all good time. And it's a good time right now. Uh, they're telling me that if you have, you want to invest in something, whether it's, you know, using your effort and your time or whether it's finances, it's a good time for you to do that. Okay, consider any opportunity carefully right now, though. Okay, you could also be receiving some important legal documents or contracts or correspondence here for you to sign. So it's also, I and mean, you know, I always tell you this, I love this card because it's about improving health. Some of you could be getting a degree or a diploma in something. This is the card of excellent, excellent luck, my friends. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's do our clarification here. Let's see what we have here. With our with our Leap of Faith card, you have, again, the eight of, eight of Cups right beside each other. So you definitely are walking away from one face in your life, one situation, a relationship, whatever it is, going in a new direction. Maintain balance, my friends, okay? Just take your time. Don't go rushing in. Your judgment call here, you've got the Page of Cups, beautiful opportunity coming in. Could be somebody coming in to offer you their hand in respect, attention, uh, affection, or even, um, you know, gratitude. This could be somebody that is interest, interested in you in, uh, in a romantic way as well. Even if it's a distraction and it's not for a long time, I, they could be younger, look younger, act younger, or be younger. Um, you know what? This is a new beginning for you. This could be a beautiful distraction, someone coming in here to offer you assistance with something. Again, with our Eight of Cups going in a new direction, you got the Ace of, or the Queen of Wands. Beautiful card. One of my favorite queens, as you know. She's, she's fearless. She's been to hell and back. She's walked through the fire. She's come out the other side like a phoenix, and she's rising. Uh, this is you taking on that bravery. Don't be afraid to go in a new direction. Don't be afraid to turn your back on something and let it go if it wasn't working out to help you move forward in a progressive, successful, peaceful, happy direction. So stand in your power, stand in your courage, and stay focused on your ultimate goal as you move forward in this direction. Beautiful card, the star, you illuminating. Yes, you're going to have reason to celebrate. This is the Four of Wands. So you could be celebrating your accomplishments, something that you did, you know, that you won over, that you've that you received, uh, that you've got recognition for. You are showcasing yourself now, and you will be able to celebrate that. Beautiful. It could be the announcement also of an engagement, uh, a commitment, a birth of a child, anything. Taking your time as you do it here with the Knight of Pentacles, you got happy ever after. Ah, what a beautiful reading. What a beautiful reading, my Virgos. So, this is happiness, okay? T planning your move, going in the right direction, taking your time now, processing and thinking what you want, and at the end of the day, your cups are going to fill. In relationships, in finances, in your home life, harmony, building that new foundation, you bet, and you're going and, and to go through episodes. This is a six of coins, give and take, push-pull energy. Uh, you know, being able to uh, have a fair playing field here. Um, you know, reciprocating. Maybe you're doing barter work here. You know, I'll give you this if you give me that. But you're doing it amicably. You're doing it with compromise. This is something that comes into you charitably as well. Maybe somebody's stepping up and saying, hey, let me help you. Okay? You could also be receiving some money. Our beautiful, as I said, don't worry about money or opportunities. Here is that king of pentacles. You've got the four of pentacles. 
So don't be so closed mind. Keep an open mind because there could be new opportunities presenting themselves this week that might be totally different from anything you would have ever imagined that you would be interested in. So keep your mind open. Okay, don't get stuck in your ways. Uh, you know, you could be you could be in a position where you know you, you're a bit disappointed. Maybe you're not going to get the right amount of money that you had originally wished you had, but compromise is coming into play. And I think it's going to be very fair. Okay, I think you're going to see fairness coming in here. All right. Okay. Yeah, as I said, with the Six of Pentacles. Now. Our beautiful Hierophant, what have we got here? We have the Moon. The Moon is Pisces, stands for Pisces, but the Moon is all about, <clears throat> you know, often we turn to meditation, uh, meditative moments, going within, or even prayer for some of us. Uh, you know, it is always the darkest before the dawn, and uh, you know what? Isn't it funny how when, you know, when we were growing up, they always said, okay, I'm going to go to bed and say my prayers. Why was it always at night? Why couldn't you have done it in the morning or the middle of the day or whatever, right? Because usually at nighttime that's when we're starting to shut down we're starting to think about our day we're starting to and or even worry okay and we don't want that to happen so often we do that we take to ourselves we take to that silence at that time of the day and it's always darkest before the dawn but know that you're getting this blessing here from the hierophant that that moon is going to come out and shine and illuminate everything so you see everything clearly this is about trusting your intuition and your gut feeling your instincts it's also realizing that you have gifts of your own. Don't be afraid to show them. This could be information in the background that you need to find out about, do your research, and any secrets are going to reveal themselves at the perfect time. This beautiful card. Oh, this beautiful card. Good health, money, finances, job, promotion. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. You've got the two of wands. Two of wands says stay focused, moving towards your goals, uh, thinking about your future here moving forward in a wonderful progressive direction okay this is all about excellent having excellent foresight for your future this again refers to contacts and business agreements but great potential okay this is about progress forging ahead don't be discouraged by any temporary dis delays if you're waiting for this to come in okay these opportunities to present themselves okay stay patient they're coming stay optimistic well, my beautiful Virgos, what a great reading. Boy, it left me feeling wonderful. And you should too. <clears throat> Remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. Stay positive and be patient. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed. Want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll all see each other soon.